here's what everybody's saying, the, 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 the kids are young, okay, I want the young kids. You give me a bunch of young pros, my record will be better than this on the fact that I'm 50 something years old and I know the game. What's up guys, welcome to another video, man, we haven't posted one in a while, but today I was watching an interview with LeVar Ball and uh, Ty Lopez, and if you don't know who Ty Lopez is, Ty Lopez is basically the one of the best philosophers of our generation. His teachings have improved the lives of millions and enlightened millions more. The more you learn, the more you earn knowledge. And if you didn't know who LeVar Ball was, well, for one, shame on you, because he has transcended basketball greatness past what many of us believed and have really blowed our minds. One-on-one, -on -one, I'm undefeated, never lost. Will you stop it? Don't never lost on one -on -one. But in all seriousness, no, guys, I gotta tell you, I am a huge Big Baller brand fan. I'm a big fan of the three brothers and LeVar Ball because of what he stands for, how he's marketed. Give it, you gotta give it to him. This man is smart. What he's done is brilliant, and he's really created a, a huge brand for himself and for his sons. So in his interview, he really does touch on some things like, you know, not letting doubt and haters get to you and stuff like that. And it's that kind of stuff that, you know, I really admire about him. They got, they're gonna have haters. Anytime you're in the limelight, you're going to have 50% of people like you and 50% of don't. You're not going to please everybody. Yeah. And you're not going to have everybody hate you because some people are going to be like, you know what? I like what he's doing. I like right. what they're doing. But you're not going to please everybody. But if you get stuck Bitch. on having haters, oh. you're like, oh, man, I don't like that guy. As long as you ain't doing nothing bad and have no bad vices, you're fine. As long as you ain't hurt nobody and doing nothing stupid. But in the interview, oh, my God. In the interview, he basically says... He would be a better coach for the Lakers than Luke Walton. You give me a bunch of young pros, my record would be better than this on the fact that I'm 50 something years old and I know the game. But if you got some guy 30, you maybe not experienced enough. Maybe stop talking about the players are so young, and maybe it's the coaching experience is young. Yeah, nobody don't want to say that, but I'll say it because I'm 50 years old and I know the game. You give me those guys and I guarantee you they'll be in a much better position than this is. Now, y'all just heard that soundbite. Let me know if I'm tripping, if I'm misinterpreting that, because what he basically said was Luke Walton ain't doing a good job and he would be able to coach those guys better. Now, LeVar Ball is an AAU coach and, of course, he's coached his three sons, but there is a huge difference between being an AAU coach and an NBA coach, the top level of basketball in the world. Not to mention, Luke Walton is has been in the NBA for a minute. He's been coaching for a minute, okay? He's had tutelage underneath Steve Kerr. I don't understand how you how you even begin to say that. Maybe I'm missing maybe I'm misinterpreting though. And again, you gotta realize this is coming from a fan of LeVar Ball. This is coming from a fan of LeVar Ball. So I, I don't know if I'm just true, but if he, he really just said that, like he really just said that. So he then goes on to talk to the almighty Ty Lopez about how um, they should keep Lonzo in. And I'm a huge fan of Lonzo. A lot of people hate him, a lot of people doubt him. I'm a huge fan of him. But when a rookie's not performing, you take him out. I mean, he's not good enough yet to just lead the team like that. Like, I get it, okay? I get it. He needs to learn from mistakes. He needs to be put in pressure situations. He did that against the 76ers the other night. He, he drives in, no hesitation, draws defenders, kicks out to Brandon Ingram, and Brandon Ingram wins the game. That's beautiful. But whenever he goes over A from the field, of course he's only going to play like 26 minutes. He's cold. When you're cold, you're cold. You get taken out. And that's the way the NBA works. I understand Lonzo's a different type of play, and I'm a huge fan of him and the way he plays the game. But sometimes you're not performing, some nights you're not performing, you just get taken out. Plain and simple. He's a rookie and he doesn't get any special treatment. And here's the thing. This is what LeVar said he wouldn't be doing in the offseason. And yet here he is talking trash about the coach, telling him how to coach his son, and I get it. He's the father, he thinks he knows best, but this is huge and you should stay out of it. But he shouldn't. And he shouldn't because it's free marketing. They, like, I think one media entity estimated it that he earned millions in free advertising just based off his antics. And that's honestly why he shouldn't. By saying what he does in this interview, he's utilizing the tactics that he's always used. He's using his profound, often controversial statements to earn attention. 
earn attention, you earn uh, revenue possibly towards the brand. I mean, what's the saying? There's no such thing as bad publicity. So he's doing that. And honestly, I'm talking about it right now. ESPN's going to probably talk about it. Other media entities are going to talk about it. They're going to debate it. But at the end of the day, they're still talking about him. LeVar Ball is still in our minds. And the Lakers have taken steps. The Lakers implemented the LeVar Ball rule, quote unquote, and they've basically shut off media entities or media reporters from interviewing fans or anybody else in the stands. And you know that it was LeVar Ball because he was doing those interviews in the stands a couple of times. But the thing is, they're not going to be able to shut him down. He has Twitter and he has a following. He has connections on YouTube, obviously, with Ty Lopez and others. And of course, you know, he's going to he's probably going to be on first take again in a month or so to debate Stephen A, which is can't wait for can't wait for that's the highlight of my week. Also, let me know. Do you like LeVar Ball? Do you think he's accurate? What do you think? Do you think he'd be a better coach than Luke Walton? Also, did I get the point right? Or did I maybe misinterpret it? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, hit that button down below. Turn on the notification bell because apparently all the other YouTubers are telling you to do it. And apparently, I, I guess I should as well. So, I mean, th that little bell, you know, ding, ding, ding. And as always, guys, more than anything, stay strong and love yourselves. I'm going to see y'all next video. Peace out.